Few psychology terms stir up confusion, like the word psychopath. Even though it's commonly used to describe someone who has a mental illness, a psychopath is not an official diagnosis. The true definition of a psychopath in psychiatry is an antisocial personality disorder. Psychopathy is characterized by diagnostic features such as superficial charm, high intelligence, poor judgment and failure to learn from experience, pathological egocentricity and incapacity for love, lack of remorse or shame, impulsivity, grandiose sense of self-worth, pathological lying, manipulative behavior, poor self-control, juvenile delinquency, and criminal behavior among others. Cruella de Vil is a typical villain of Disney with psychotic symptoms. Her cruelty to animals is included as an early indicator in diagnosing her as a psychopath. Cruella is known to be mean and rude, frequently barging into other people's homes unannounced and openly disrespecting others. She adores attention, but looks down on others, showing no sympathy or concern for anyone's well-being. She is also greedy and selfish and adores high fashion and art. Her interest in fashion revolves around furs from animals, particularly fur coats as she is always seen wearing one. As a result, Cruella often seeks animals to help her with making coats. Upon learning that Perdita has had puppies, Cruella attempted to buy them from Roger, showing no concern for the puppies themselves, having already purchased 84 puppies legally. The reason for her obsession is because the spots will make her fur coats more popular, meaning she'll get more money. Her interests in spots run so deep she turned to Lars after seeing his painting of spots, as a way to substitute her obsession. Cruella is known to be short-tempered. She gets annoyed with Jasper and Horace's foolishness, and throws a tantrum when things don't go her way. Her anger seems to be a problem, as it makes her reckless and impulsive, as she drove her car recklessly after the Dalmatians, but ended up crashing her car into a ravine. She may also be bipolar, as she is prone to psychotic fits. Her reckless driving is a prime example. This happened again when she tried to capture the puppies in London, only to end up in an institution. However, she did seem to be a slightly reasonable woman, as she attempted twice to convince Anita to sell Cruella her puppies, only choosing to steal them when it became clear it was the only way for her to get the puppies. Cruella is absolutely a psychopath. She lusts for power, wealth, and luxury and does not let the feelings of others, not even high school friend Anita, get in her way. She has no empathy, no consideration. She wants and she takes. The fact that she's willing to skin 99 puppies just to have a new Dalmatian coat. Well, you know what they say about the trend between killing animals and people. Animals are just the first steps towards something much darker. Cruella is also cruel. She mocks Roger's music career in front of him and Anita, and prone to outbursts of violence. She is downright demented when she chases the truck containing the puppies, ramming them off the road. It's these traits that transferred so wonderfully to the live-action version of 101 Dalmatians. Glenn Close's Cruella is the head of a fashion house and has used her psychopathic traits in her rise to power. Psychopathy is often confused with another antisocial personality disorder, like sociopathy. While the terms sociopath and psychopath are often used interchangeably, each has its clear lines of distinction that can be broadly described. While psychopaths are classified as people with little or no conscience, sociopaths do have a limited, albeit weak, ability to feel empathy and remorse. Psychopaths can and do follow social conventions when it suits their needs. Sociopaths are more likely to fly off the handle and react violently whenever they're confronted by the consequences of their actions. A key difference between a psychopath and a sociopath is whether he has a conscience, the little voice inside that lets us know when we're doing something wrong. A psychopath doesn't have a conscience. If he lies to you so he can steal your money, he won't feel any moral qualms, though he may pretend to. 
he may observe others and then act the way they do so he's not found out. A sociopath typically has a conscience, but it's weak. They may know that taking your money is wrong, and they might feel some guilt or remorse, but that won't stop their behavior. Both lack empathy, the ability to stand in someone else's shoes and understand how they feel. But a psychopath has less regard for others. Data are still limited about psychopathy treatments, the substantial evidence supporting the existence of cognitive and emotional processing deficits in people with psychopathy suggests that these are potential treatment targets. Indeed, cognitive behavioral and cognitive remediation techniques have shown some promise. Some have also suggested that the interpersonal and affective symptoms of psychopathy may be amenable to modified dialectical behavioral therapy techniques. Data are limited regarding the use of medication to target psychopathic personality traits. The best approach to pharmacotherapy is to target and treat comorbid psychiatric disorders. It may be possible to diminish traits such as sensation-seeking, impulsivity, aggression, and related emotional pain with the help of psychotherapy, psychopharmacotherapy, and or neurofeedback. Long-term psychotherapy, at least five years, seems effective in some categories of psychopaths, insofar as psychopathic personality traits may diminish. Psychotherapy alone may be insufficient to improve symptoms. It is extremely important to recognize hidden suffering, loneliness, and lack of self-esteem as risk factors for violent criminal behavior in psychopaths. Studying the statements of violent criminal psychopaths sheds light on their striking and specific vulnerability and emotional pain. More experimental psychopharmacotherapy, neurofeedback, and combined psychotherapy research are needed to prevent and treat psychopathic behavior. The current picture of the psychopath is incomplete because emotional suffering and loneliness are ignored. When these aspects are considered, our conception of the psychopath goes beyond the heartless and becomes more human. Check out one of our newest videos here. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on more videos about your favorite Disney and Marvel characters and the psychology behind them. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.